What's up my awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and today I'm here to do another movie update. It's been almost a month since my last one so this is everything that I've picked up since the last update and it's all different formats. So I have two DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, Steelbooks, um, horror movies on Blu-ray. It's that time of the year or almost that time of the year where I'm pretty much going to be watching horror movies um, up until October 31st. The weather in Kentucky feels amazing today. It's good fall weather, which is fantastic. Nice breeze out there, and it's very sunny out, so I love it. Um, but anyway, guys, we're going to get started, but before I do that, I just want to thank you all for watching the videos and subscribing and just loving the channel, guys. Um, I'm noticing I'm getting more subscribers, so thank you all, the new subscribers, for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy the videos and the channel. And to my old subscribers, um, some friends that I've made, new and old friends, thank you all so much for your love and support. For watching these videos um, almost 12 years so 12 years in December which is crazy to think but I really appreciate all the love and support guys I truly mean it you guys are fantastic and uh, stay tuned for some more videos to come because October's coming and I have a lot planned guys uh, so let's get started I'm gonna go through these pretty quick so I hope you enjoy this video uh, the first thing I picked up um, actually the first three things I'm gonna talk about are Best Buy exclusive steelbooks. And I love these steelbooks. I think they're overall great. Um, one of them was a little dented, which I'll talk about that in a minute. No big deal though. Um, but the first thing is the Psycho 4K steelbook. Uh, the first time the movie's been released uncut. This was the original way Alfred Hitchcock wanted people to see it. In fact, the only time since this release that people saw that um, saw Psycho uncut was back in the theaters. So right when it first came out, it was released the way Alfred Hitchcock wanted it to be released. And since then, like all different physical media formats we've had up until now, um, for some reason, we never got that uncut footage. Um, from what I've heard, it's not like a huge difference, but there are a couple moments, and I will be reviewing this, by the way, once I watch the 4K. There are a couple moments where, you know, a scene will kind of go on just a little bit longer. I hear like the footage is like only a minute long, um, so it's not a big difference. But once I watch the uh, 4K and I do the review, I'll explain those scenes that kind of added in that uncut footage. But Psycho, I'm just so happy to have this on 4K. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Psycho. Definitely in the top 10 favorite films of all time and top 10 uh, favorite horror movies of all time. I think even top five favorite horror movies. So Psycho, absolutely love it. And great steelbook, guys. Uh, really enjoy uh, what Best Buy has been doing as far as their steelbooks go. And uh, very much looking forward to watching this and re re watching it on 4K for the first time and then reviewing it for you guys. So... Uh, the next still book is Hocus Pocus. I picked it up on 4K. This is one of my favorite films, and of course, I love watching it around this time of the year. Uh, so excited to have Hocus Pocus on 4K. The still book is overall great looking. I love the design. I have the other um, steel book from Best Buy, which was that the the book pretty much that's in the movie, and I like that still book slightly better. But the still book's still amazing, and I wanted it on 4K, so. I've heard it actually looks and sounds great on 4K, so looking forward to popping this in um, this October. So, Hocus Pocus. I kind of want to watch it now, but I'm going to wait a little longer. Wait till October gets here. And then the last still book I have for this update is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, only released on Blu-ray. I wish it would have been released on 4K, but still, this is an upgrade for my, you know, kind of... I wouldn't say it was a bare bones Blu-ray, but it was just a standard Blu-ray, and this is so much better. I uh, love the artwork, guys. The front and the back looks amazing. My only little rant is that when I got this, and I love the steelbook, so I was a little bit not happy. Um, you can see that there's some dents when you kind of look at it in the light. So right there and right there. Not a big deal unless you know you you know show it up in the sun 
But, um, you know, little tiny complaints. I just wish that, I don't know if it's Best Buy, I don't know if it's the mail, I don't know. Um, I just wish they would, you know, take care of these better. Uh, but still, overall amazing. Not too bad. Um, I love Steelbooks. I like getting the ones that I absolutely love or that look fantastic. Um, so I'm happy to have this. Um, again, little dense, not happy with it, but overall love the Steelbook. So, very happy. Uh, then going on, I'm going to show this off real quick. I've actually had to re-record the video because I totally forgot about this. I have been on a kick um, collecting pretty much any DC formats, and I've been getting and slowly but surely collecting those, I think they're Target, Target exclusive um, DCEU Digibooks. Had them all up until Wonder Woman, and I could not ever find the Wonder Woman Digibook uh, for a reasonable price. Then I was on eBay one day just looking, found this for $22, free shipping, mint condition, and there is the Wonder Woman Digibook. So now I have them all up until I think the last one was Aquaman. So I know there's one overseas of Shazam, but that's going for a crazy amount of money. So, you know, if I ever find it for really cheap, I'd pick it up, but or for a reasonable price. But as far as um, the U.S. goes and the, the Target exclusive ones we've had, I got them all now and very happy to have this. I love Wonder Woman, big fan of Wonder Woman, and eventually I'm looking forward to seeing Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, they just pushed it back again, which, you know, it is what it is. You know, a lot of movies are being pushed back. But love Wonder Woman, had to show that off. So continuing on with the next four 4Ks, uh, we have... Beetlejuice, which I've already talked about, um, but excellent 4K, uh, one of my favorites, definitely a top 10 uh, favorite 4Ks I own. Um, I, I describe it in, I, I describe this in more detail in a video I did maybe two or three videos back, I think four videos back. So if you want to hear my thoughts overall with it, um, check out that review. But Beetlejuice, if Beetlejuice, if you're a fan of this movie, uh, definitely pick that one up. And then the other one was Goonies, and I talked about this as well. Um, out of the two, Beetlejuice looked look the best, but the Goonies still look great. I know some people had complaints with the um, like darkened scenes, like when they're you know in the caves and they're exploring the caves. I didn't think, uh, sorry, I didn't think it looked bad. I actually thought it looked really good, um, actually more detailed than the standard Blu-ray. The outside scenes are the best though. Like right when the movie opens, you could tell that there was a big difference in quality. I popped the uh, Blu-ray in after watching the 4K and that Blu-ray on a, on the TV I have very, well not very grainy, but it, you could definitely tell it wasn't the best Blu-ray transfer. So for me, the 4K is definitely worth upgrading. Um, you know, if you watch this movie during the day and say like the wind, you know, your blinds are up and like there's a reflection on your TV, or if you say you just watch it during the day, you might not think this is the best 4K, but I watch movies at night and I can just tell you the detail uh, when they're in the cave, when they're outside the cave, uh, this is the best the movies ever looked. So love the Goonies, love the 4K overall. Then we got... The Prestige, Christopher Nolan's The Prestige. Uh, Pick this one up on 4K. The US one's out of print, I believe, and it's going for a pretty good amount of money. So picked up the UK one, it's region free. Actually, the two Blu-rays are region free as well. That's a plus. Um, I have all the other Christopher Nolan movies on 4K, so I just needed this one. I love his movies being released on 4K because I know he kind of approves and over overlooks the 4K transfers. So the ones I've seen, I think the only one I need to watch is Dunkirk on 4K. But all the other ones I've seen on 4K are amazing. Like, they look so good and sound good. This one looked great overall. A lot of the scenes that are... The darks look so good. The colors are so... They, they look good. Like, they have that natural color to them. Um, some of the scenes that you could definitely tell, there was a big difference in transfer. Where the opening shot right away, you could tell that the uh, transfer was definitely a... Um, you know, an improvement over the, the Blu-ray. 
And then, you know, the, the scenes where there was, like, snow on the ground or, like, there's a moment where Hugh Jackman and, I believe, Andy Serkis... Sir, sir, probably saying his last name wrong. Um, Andy, I'm just going to say Andy. Uh, they're talking and kind of Andy lights up the um, outside and, like, this between the snow and the light. I mean, it just looked amazing. So the Prestige, um, definitely worth getting on 4K if you can get your hands on it. Again, I got the UK release and it came with the slipcover, so really happy to have that. Um, but yeah, the Prestige. I uh, wanted to get all of Nolan's movies on 4K. Then we got Top Gun, which this is actually a trade I did with my buddy Pat. I've yet to watch the transfer, but I actually hear it's better than the Blu-ray. So, you know, we were doing a swap and I was like, you know what? Give me Top Gun, and I'm looking forward to watching this on 4K. Big fan of that movie. Uh, going on to the Blu-rays, all these are pretty much, except for one, horror movies. And a lot of them are really good prices, so actually all of these were really good prices. So this is really an awesome stack of horror movie goodness. Uh, the first two are Vestron releases, though. Uh, the first one is Shivers, and I'm glad Vestron's back. I love Vestron video. But Shivers, I've yet to watch the Blu-ray of it, but I do love the movie. I've seen it before and absolutely loved it. Uh, looking forward to digging into all the bonus features as well. Um, so definitely looking forward to checking this out. Uh, I got this and the next one on Diabolic's website, Dolly, Diabolic DVD's website, for like $23 and some change. So both of these movies for that price, amazing. You can actually get these at Walmart for, I believe... Um, $12.98 or $13.98. Uh, you know, don't quote me on that, but they're actually reasonable prices. And, you know, just these movies in general are great prices. Uh, Best Buy, or not Best Buy, but Amazon has them for like $14.98. But yeah, Shiver is very happy with this and looking forward to checking out. Very happy to have it on Blu ray, but I'm looking forward to checking it out on Blu ray. And then Little Monsters, which I'm happy just to have Little Monsters on Blu ray. But I did watch the Blu-ray. Overall, it's a okay transfer of the movie. I think it could have looked better. But, you know, I'm just happy to have this on Blu-ray. And, you know, right now we're in the pandemic of craziness. 2020 has just been not a good year. Um, so, you know, the fact that Vestron was able to release these movies during this year is awesome. And they all come with bonus features, or they both come with bonus features. So that's even better. The transfer is probably better than the DVD. I I think I put my DVD in and like on my TV, like, you know, you could see those like left and right, you know, bars on the sides of the TV. This fits the whole TV. So I was really happy with that. Um, and again, not the best transfer of the movie, but you're getting it for a reasonably, you're getting it for actually a great price of like, you know, again, if you go to Walmart, it's like twelve ninety eight. But um, reasonable price overall, guys. And if you love Little Monsters, support Vestron Video and pick this one up. You got some bonus features on here. Overall, good good bonus features. I felt like the Howie Mandel interview was a little awkward at first. It almost sounded like he didn't like the movie. But then he said he did like the movie. I think he just had a hard time putting on the makeup. Because if you guys don't know, um, he is... Um, the right term is I think he's OCD or he's a germaphobe and so you know them touching his face all the time during the making of this movie was really hard for him um, so at first you think he didn't like the movie but then he does say he likes the film um, overall good interview but little monsters you know if I had to rate the overall you know blu-ray of this I'm gonna give it a three out of four again they released it in 2020 during a time when you know, we're going through a, you know, just a rough year and a pandemic. So, you know, the fact that Vestron Video released any movies and they're coming back two years later after Maximum Overdrive is a plus for me. Uh, now going on, I'm going to go through these pretty quick, guys. These are, again, one non-horror movie Blu-ray, but the rest are horror movie Blu-rays. Uh, this one I picked up at Walmart for $10.98. I've never seen this movie before. It actually just came out this past February in theaters. And so now it's already 1098. And this is, I believe, one of those Halloween exclusive Blu-rays. But that is Gretel and Hansel. I've not seen this this one yet. Um, so I'm going to be uh, watching it 
uh, this October. So looking forward to seeing it. I've heard pretty good things. Uh, this one I found on eBay for $5.98. I had it once, got rid of it, you know, eventually we get these movies again sometimes. But uh, found it for five dollars but found it for $5.98. Had to just do that. Found it for $5.98 though. That is, I sold a take. So, yeah, this is a Wes Craven movie, one of his last ones. Scream 4 was his last movie before he passed away. But my soul to take, one of the things I really like about the movie from what I remember is the fall setting. It has such a good fall setting. So that's one of the reasons why I want to go back and rewatch it. But it's a fun horror movie altogether. I actually found it with a slipcover on eBay. And this thing is almost 10 years old. So the fact it came with the slipcover, huge plus again for me. Uh, yeah, looking forward to rewatching my solo take. Uh, the next uh, four are Dollar General pickups. These were all $4.98 a piece. Uh, Natural Born Killers, which I've never seen this movie. Uh, Confessions, never seen it. Uh, but looking forward to watching it. I've heard it's really disturbing, but a great movie too. So, Natural Born Killers. Uh, then we got The Butterfly Effect, which I remember this movie from a long time ago. Haven't seen it in an, almost 10 years, so looking forward, to, or a little over 10 years. Uh, looking forward to rewatching it and seeing the director's cut for the first time. Again, that was $4.98 at Dollar General, so that was a score there. Uh, this is another Dollar General pickup, uh, Dreamcatcher. I'm in, I'm in a big Stephen King kick right now, so... I want to uh, revisit his movies and miniseries, uh, The Dreamcatcher 498. I don't remember that movie too much, so I'm looking forward to rewatching it. And then the last Dollar General pickup was the number 23, which again, I haven't seen this movie in a little over 10 years, so uh, I remember really liking the movie though. I thought it was a pretty underrated Jim Carrey film. And then the last Blu-ray is About Last Night and St. Elmo's Fire. Originally, I was just going to get St. Elmo's Fire because I did not own that movie on, you know, another Blu-ray or DVD. So this is a first time pickup for that movie. I remember really liking it, but I want to go back and revisit it. It's been a very long time since I've seen it. And about last night, I had on DVD. This thing altogether was $14.99, and just to get St. Elmo's Fire was $12.99. So paid $2 extra for both movies. I really enjoy about last night um it's been a while since i've seen it a couple years at least so i'm looking forward to watching that and looking forward to revisiting saint elmo's fire and the cool thing is they're both standard or they're both you know released separately on blu-ray so very cool and then the last two things are two dvds if you guys know i'm a madonna fan so i found these on ebay for a really good price the first one is her uh, Drowned World Tour from 2001. Uh, this is long out of print, so I found this on eBay for a really good price. I think like $5 altogether. And uh, the DVD is in overall really good shape, so looking forward to watching that. I've actually not seen that uh, concert before. And then this almost goes for like $60, practically brand new, not even brand new. Found this for like $22.98 uh, in really good condition. Actually, the DVDs aren't even scratched up. And that is her video collection um, up till, I believe, Celebration. So very cool, guys. Big Madonna fan, so I wanted to add those um, in the collection. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I hope you enjoyed those lovely tongue twisters where I can't talk. It happens, though. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and once again, to my subscribers and my friends, I've made a lot of awesome friends on here. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support and watching the videos, loving the channel. It really means a lot to me, guys. I have so much fun making videos, but I love making them for you, so this is, you know, just awesome. And I'm glad I'm, you know, making more videos. I think since this pandemic, I've made more videos than I did, like, last year. I think last year I was just so busy with um, life that, you know, life, work, a lot of things that I just didn't make a lot of videos. I made videos, but not as much like I do now. And, you know, I have more free time, obviously, to do them. But, you know, I think this year, even though we've had a rough year, um, for me, making videos is uplifting. Um, letting you guys watch these videos, letting me share, you know, a part of my life with you guys is awesome 
and I really appreciate you guys' support, and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, um, especially during the time where we're living right now. Again, it's not been a great year. Hopefully 2021's a better year. Um, but I don't want to continue rambling, guys. Just once again, thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me. And uh, you all have a great weekend. Happy Friday to you all. And stay tuned because I think, I could be wrong, but I think I'm going to officially start all like my October related videos. So I might have one or two, you know, non October related videos, um, but I'm going to start them mid September and um, work my way up until October 31st. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. You guys are awesome. You guys rock in with the positive, out with the negative. Go eat some Skittles. And once again, much love to you guys. Truly mean it. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys.